What's up guys, Graham here. I want to tell you guys that the open beta for Starfall Prophecy is starting on October 13th, which is going to be this upcoming Thursday, and it'll allow us to all go into the new lands, do all the new quests, all the new content, and see what all's coming up with Starfall Prophecy firsthand. And it's not going to be for a select few testers or anything like that. This is going to be an open beta where everybody can get into it and have fun in the new lands. There will be a wipe after this now all of your progress is not really going to save it's just for testing purposes but you'll be able to go into it and see what all starfall prophecy has to offer everybody now this is the time that tron is basically asking us to go in have fun and find some bugs along the way do the quest do the adventures try to jump over the mountains in the little areas that you think that you can weasel your way through and if you see that you fall through the ground or anything else then do a bug report uh whenever you do a bug Bug report it saves your location so you don't have to worry about telling them where you're at or something like that you can just say hey the ground is not you know safe to walk on right here you can actually fall through it and then they'll be able to see your location and all that so this is going to be real big because this is going to open the gates for a lot of live streamers video creators like myself to make content on the new stuff and basically show you guys what all it is if you're not able to play it and do it yourself now if you're not uh pre-ordered with starfall prophecy you need to get the pre-order in i mean it's kind of too late to get the op mount uh but that's okay the new stuff that's coming out is just amazing and let's go ahead and show you guys exactly what all you get with uh pre-ordering the game so uh let's see nope that's the wrong page my bad okay here we go we got it to where it's showing the standard edition and the deluxe edition now the standard edition is going to have an instant level 65 boost so if you're somebody that has fallen behind and hasn't really played in nightmare tide i can understand it i wasn't a big fan of nightmare tide myself if i wasn't so committed to the game i probably wouldn't have played it at all during nightmare tide it was a very bad time for me it just was not uh, a good expansion uh it, it made it to where i was always uh running behind on the gear i was uh you know i was able to use some of my skill and stuff in pvp in order to win a lot but i was always fighting uphill battle with a gear deficiency because i just wasn't in enjoying the expansion and that makes me fall behind on it so this is going to allow you to get that level 65 boost if you have not been playing during nightmare tide and get right into starfall prophecy here uh whereas everybody's going to be racing from level 65 to level 70 or it could be used on an alt character if you're always wanting to play a primalist or something like that and you haven't leveled one up this will be the opportunity to make an alt all right, so then you get the Star Lord or Star Lady title, which is very cool. Kind of a throwback to uh, Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Uh, let's see here. We get the Daily Starfall Prophecy tokens, which this is uh, tokens that you can trade into a vendor and get special items. One is the OP mount. If you have an order already uh, pre-ordered for the expansion here, then you probably are not going to be able to get enough of the tokens in order to get the OP mount. This is a special squirrel that has special jumping abilities. It's really good for artifact hunting. Uh, but you can also trade in for a 40 slot bag. And I can't remember what the other thing is. It, oh, it's the mystery gift, I believe it is. So basically, you can trade in tokens for a mystery gift. And it doesn't open until the expansion launches. So yeah, it's completely a mystery. Nobody knows what it is. All right, so then we have also access to Starfall Prophecy on all of your characters, be able to reach level 70, unlock legendary abilities, explore five massive new zones, uh, defeat two deadly dungeons, and more. Uh, lots of stuff has already been planned, and if you guys have not checked out all the legendary abilities and uh, all that stuff and the epic items, then you guys are kind of missing out. Make sure that you tune into the try on live streams to see a lot of the previews of this stuff. Now that's the $39.99 uh, uh, 
version of it if you get the deluxe edition it costs 59 dollars 99 but you also get a ethereal drake mount as well as the uh asha raiment which is basically the outfit for her and also a ring of inket portrait frame so let's go ahead and go to the game here let's see if we can uh change the change it up a little bit here is it working right yeah there we go all right so you'll be able to see the mount here if you guys have never seen the drake mount this is it on live it's amazing details the drake is just beautiful to look at and you really appreciate it once you jump off of uh hillsides or cliffs or something whenever it uh flutters its wings out it almost does like a soar down it made people think that it was a flying mount for a long time but it's actually not a flying mount now uh, i apologize for a little bit of lag i'm recording and also playing the game on high graphics so everything lags a little bit whenever that happens all right so let's see here can we change our portrait uh let's see uh ring of anket if you look up there at the top left, that is the ring that you will get on your portrait if you have pre-ordered the expansion. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And the, also, the Asha app outfit, I haven't even opened it up, I don't believe. So, uh, all you have to do is look up Asha on Google and you'll be able to see it right off the bat. Uh, there it is. So you'll be able to see the outfit and know exactly what you're getting uh, with that. So you guys, Starfall Prophecy is right around the corner. There's going to be lots of content up on my channel about the new expansion. And I'm really looking forward to showing you guys what all it has to offer. Hopefully I'll make my big comeback into PvP because I was so inactive during Nightmare Tide that everybody started to think that grim sucks grim can't win war front stuff like that whenever i i just wasn't playing and whenever i wasn't playing i was falling beho behind on the gear and yeah everybody was getting the new trinkets all that stuff and i wasn't so whenever i'd finally play a warfront match it was real difficult in order to do well but i usually went 10 and 0 or something like that anyway whereas in the past whenever i was playing during storm legion i would go 30 and 0 or 30 and 1 or something like that so it's a dramatic decrease in my performance but i was still doing well to where i was killing 10 people or so and uh, not dying hardly at all so very good times up ahead, hopefully. I'm looking forward to the PvP, see what these legendary abilities have in st uh, store for us, and hopefully we'll have a very good return at Grim in this new expansion. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button. As usual, my name is Grim, and I'll see you next time.